Here's a man that was so smart that Thomas Edison tried to sue him for his work and still lost. And even then, some people still refer to him as the Black Edison, which is actually disrespectful to his legacy. And let me tell you why. Granville Woods was born in 1856 in Columbus, Ohio. He had a limited education, but he was determined to master mechanical and electrical engineering. He worked in machine shops and had various industrial jobs. He also honed his craft through night classes and self-study. This eventually led to him holding over 50 patents during his lifetime. One of his most profound inventions was a synchronous multiplex railway telegraph. He obtained a patent in 1887. This allowed trains to communicate with other trains and their stations. It reduced collisions and significantly enhanced rail safety. Thomas Edison was not only impressed, but tried to take this invention as his own. He took Woods to court and lost because Woods was just that smart. Woods kept his patent and his invention, a feat that was rare for a black man during this time. Edison then gave Woods an offer to join his company, which Woods declined. Woods went on to make numerous impactful contributions to technology and transportation. He made an improved telephone transmitter, which he sold to Alexander Graham Bell's company. He developed the trawler, which allowed streetcars to pull electricity from overhead wires, thus leading to these streetcars being renamed trolleys. He developed a power pickup that laid the foundation for the third rail system and received patents for an improved air brake system. He was subject to racial discrimination, which minimized his ability to secure funding. It also minimized his due recognition. He persevered nonetheless and changed the landscape of technology and transportation forever. He was not the Black Edison. He was the Granville T. Woods.